Um, Allie, tell us how your team performed this week. Complete garbage. Uh, we won. I won. Well, we won. It's a good start to the season. It all started on Friday night when I forgot to set my lineup. That, that set the stage. My saving grace was that Keith's team was even worse and McCaffrey was injured, so somehow pulled out a win. I played 10. How'd it go? Um, not well. Is there anything that you could have done different that, that would have made it a good week? Yeah, not play 10. I think my team performed pretty good. I'm pretty sure Carly and my teams were top two and three, maybe only to Hannah. I did pretty well. Um, I only lost by like nine points to Sarah and she did really well, so I feel good. My quarterback was just so-so, but it worked out because Eric, who I played, forgot to set his lineup and didn't have a, uh, a flex. I left a couple spots open in my lineup. I lost, fair and square, and I did make a rookie mistake, but I'll be back. I unfortunately lost to Miss Hannah, but it's not like a huge loss. I had Tyreek the Freak pop off. Josh Allen got me 32 points. My team really did perform. The problem is Marvin Harrison Jr. got me 1.4 points as a starting wide receiver, and that is just not going to work. Um, there's a lot of injuries this week. Did anybody on your team fall onto that list? No, but they played like they was injured. My team stayed pretty healthy. I think I was the lucky one, which is probably why I had a higher scoring week. If Chris McCaffrey sat out, we had Josh Allen hurt his left hand. Jordan Addison has an ankle problem. Puka is out for a couple of weeks already in week one. We have a lot of people that are injured for a long period of time. Puka's, Puka's down for four weeks. We'll see. We got some options already on the bench. David Njoku, I think that that's, I have so many leaks. I think he's my tight end. So that kind of sinks, um, but he didn't really do much anyways because the Browns were garbage this week. I play Katie next week. Um, I'm okay with taking an early season loss. Uh, I, I did last year and I went on the championship game. So um, we're just gonna keep trucking and uh, hopefully I can get it back together against Katie next week. Um, I play Keith. So this is a double-edged sword for me. Um, the Bengals need a win because they play um, the Chiefs this week and he has Joe Burrow. So I want Joe Burrow to ball out, but then the rest of his team be garbage. It don't matter. I think Allie, but it don't matter. I play Randall and I'm gonna destroy him. I play Hannah next week and I'm both excited and a little scared because she put up a really high score this week too. I play Sarah's team and I'm gonna whoop her. I play Eric and he didn't even fill his flex, so He's not here to play, or he's just doing something crazy mind tricks. I don't know. Uh, my, my lineup will be ready. No mind games. I play Mr. Trevor next week. He normally talks a lot of smack and then gets jinxed and then loses. I'm not very nervous at all. The team's pretty weak. Do you remember that you said this last year and my defense beat you? <clears throat> I played Gabe, and I didn't look to see how he did, but uh, I don't think it matters. We just keep rolling. It's okay. I'm going to fight back. It's not the team that you draft that gets you into the championship. Correct. It's the team that you manage. Correct. <laughs> so we are going to see a lot of people either drop the ball this week or come back swinging with all of these injuries. What did I say last year, Kelly? It's not how you start. It's how you finish.